Georges Valois, real name Alfred Georges Gressant, the 7th of October 1878 to February 1945, was a French journalist and politician born in Paris. He was a member of the French Resistance and died in the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. Topic: <laughs> Life and career. Born in a working class and peasant family, Georges Valois went to Singapore at the age of 17, returning to Paris in 1898. In his early years he was an anarcho-syndicalist. He found work as a secretary at La Humanité Nouvelle where he met Georges Sorel. Later, after a stay in Imperial Russia 1903, Gressant worked as a secretary at Armand Collin Publishing House. After having written his first book, L'Homme qui vient, he met the nationalist and monarchist writer Charles Maurras and became a member of his Action Française AF League, where he continued to follow the workers' movement. As his employment would have been compromised by an involvement in the far-right monarchist league, he took the pseudonym of Georges Valois. In 1911, he created the Cercle Proudhon, a syndicalist group, and took direction of the AF's publishing house, the Nouvelle Library Nationale, in 1912. The Cercle mixed Sorel's influence with the integralism favored by Charles Morris, and was overtly anti-Semitic. According to historian Zeev Sternhull, this ideology was the prefiguration of Italian fascism. In 1925 Valois founded the weekly Le Nouveau Siècle the new century, seen by Morris as a potential rival. As a result, he lost his job at the AF's publishing house, La Nouvelle Library Nationale. The rupture with Moras became even more serious after his creation, the same year, of the FASCO League. His long-term collaborator Jacques Arthais was one of the leaders of the new league. It was the first overtly fascist party outside Italy, assisted by major entrepreneurs in their fight against the agitation of the French Communist Party PCF. After some initial success it was joined by such extremist figures as Hubert Lagardelle and Marcel Boucard, it disappeared in 1928, by which time Valois himself had already been excluded from the party. The middle class may have withdrawn its support due to its lack of confidence in fascism as a plausible solution for France, or because it considered, following a trend established by the Catholic Church which, in 1926, excommunicated the AF, that the best solution was to infiltrate the republican institutions. Valois lost financial support, and after the dissolving of the FASCO League in 1928, he founded the Republican Syndicalist Party PRS. Jacques Arthais was also a leader of this party. During the Second Cartel des Gotches left-wing coalition, this party published the Cahiers Blues (1928–1932), which hosted essays by widely different personalities, including Marcel Déa, a future neo-socialist excluded from the French section of the Workers International (SFIO), and then collaborationist Bertrand de Juvenel, co-founder of the Mont Pelerin Society, a liberal organization that exists to this day. Pierre Mendes France, one of the Young Guards or Junes Lus of the Radical Socialist. Party, he was to become Prime Minister of the Fourth Republic, and Edouard Berth. After the 6 February 1934 crisis, Valois founded La Nouvelle Age, the New Era, which he presented as a left wing review, along with the Cahiers Blues. However, La Nouvelle Age, which claimed to promote a post capitalist economy, was nonetheless advertising itself as corporatist. In 1935, he attempted to join the SFIO, but was turned down, although being backed by Marceau Pivert. He took part in the resistance during Vichy. During World War II, he moved near Lyon where he launched a cultural cooperative project. Georges Valois was finally arrested by the Nazis on 18 May 1944, and died in February 1945 of typhus at the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. Works <laughs> <laughs> Basile au la politique de la calomnie, 1927 L'homme contre l'argent, 1928 Un nouvel age de la humanité, 1929 Finances Italians, 1930 Économique, 1931 Guerre au révolution, 1931 Journey d'Europe, 1932 1917–1941, Fan du Bolchevisme, Consequences Européens de l'Avenement, 1941 L'homme de Vant Laternal published posthumously, 1947 See also 
FACO League. The 6th of February 1934 crisis.